All right, let's, I'm going to start off with my first video little presentation by just showing you a little tip on how to um, define a slope. If you've got a slope already, and you, it can be very difficult sometimes to work out where is that slope actually springing from. Um, and also, sometimes it, we, what I'm going to show you, you can use this reverse to actually uh, define a slope um, um, in order to solve a problem in geometry, where you in architecture or whatever you're doing. So um, I'm in a plan view in Revit, and all what I've done is I've actually just drawn in a slab at, at the ground floor just to so this displays better. That's the only reason I've shown it so that you can understand what's happening a bit more. What I'm going to assume is that um, we're going to put in a floor slab, and we're just going to assume that it's it is a uh, triangular floor slab at the moment, but this could be any shape as long as it's one plane. Um, and we're just going to def work out where exactly the slope is coming from. Obviously, this I'm just going to add some uh, points to this to actually give it some kind of um, slope. And I'm just kind of randomly picking these points and giving them something. Um, it can be for this demonstration, it doesn't matter, but it's um, just a matter of it being a, a uh, um, it's a, it, it's sloping at an angle that I have no idea what it is. So if I go to a 3D view, I'm just turning on shading. What have we got? We've got this here. Okay. So I can go to the front view and looks a bit flat. Look, maybe I'll actually add something to that because it just looks a little bit flatter than maybe it should for this demonstration. So I'll make that nine instead. Okay. So we can see this floor and we imagine that it's it's obviously in sloping in this direction and it's springing somewhere from here, but we really don't know where it is springing from. So the purpose of this little exercise is to find out where it's springing from. So I'll just quickly go through So what we're going to use, we're going to use model lines. So I click on model lines. And if I use the pick tool, when I start drawing these, because the view is automatically set up for the ground plane, it actually is going to pop those model lines onto the ground plane. Even though I've picked uh, these upper points, you can see if I pick there, it's actually it's actually selecting the ground plane, and that's perfectly fine. That's actually part of our way of of, of working out where this is sloping. Next thing I'm going to do is just go back to the home page and set the work plane, and say pick a plane. And I'm going to pick the face of that. And you know it's picked when the entire thing highlights in blue. And I'm going to go back to the model line tool again. Pick it. And this time it will actually draw it on the face. And you can see it there. There it is. Perfect. So now I'm going to go to the modified tool. And I'm going to trim these items out. So with the first one that was drawn and the face, trim it out. And it will trim go around the shape and it'll trim them all perfectly. Now with this little exercise I'm doing I'm actually using the three sides of the shape but we actually don't need to do that. Two is significant but three is a way of definitely knowing that you're right. Um, so what we'll find is that um, I'll actually just set the work plane back to being on the ground for this last part is when I draw, I can draw a model line or a, a model line from there to this intersection here and it'll automatically go through this point here, right? And that, that actually has, you definitely know that you've got it right if that is the case. So if I go back to my ground floor here, that's that new line that I've created, okay? And that line is the actual spring point of this, that shape there, okay? And because that is the spring point, and that's the angle of the spring point, if we draw a section perpendicular to that, the, um, I'll just flip that section, that floor, the three points on that floor should appear as a line. So there's the three points and it's a line so that we actually know it's a true section. 
And if we go to the annotate tool and use our angle between there and there, that there is a true angle of the floor. And um, this is just a starting point for this uh, little application. I'll tell you a little bit more later on how you can use this in other ways. But it just hopefully should solve um, some items in regard to how to deal with planes that you really don't know where they're springing from or how to edit them so that you can get them springing in the point where you want to. Alright, hope that helps. Thanks, bye.